What's going on? It's Glendon Cameron, and I want to discuss a few things. Got a really interesting email from one of the people in the G-verse showing me some crazy stuff on the internet. And it got me to thinking, if you don't tell your story, someone else will. So I'm going to drop a few things that some of you know, if you've been a long time subscriber. And if you're new, you have no clue. So chop that up in just a second. Let's just start at the beginning. Who is Glendon Cameron? I've always been a hustler, opportunist, entrepreneur. Three different things, three different outcomes. Hustling has gotten me more than anything else. When I started this YouTube journey, I made a few decisions. I was a storage auction guy for a long, long time. Did very, very well. I wrote a book about the storage auction business. But before I put that book out, I made a decision. I made a life decision. If you do this, there will be consequences and repercussions. Are you prepared to handle those consequences and repercussions, which are, you write this book, you're not going back in the storage auction business for a very salient reason. I personally do not believe that I could be a storage auction hound and give you my best information. That's just me. Maybe someone else can. I don't believe that I could have pulled it off. And honestly, if I stayed in the business, the book would have never happened. So with that, because there's this notion that I'm training my competition, and then it's like, I'm not training my competition. Then it hit me. People don't know your story. Then I got the email. Then some other things that were said. I'm not competing with any reseller because I haven't sold an item on eBay directly to, since 2006 and the outsourcing operation that I set up ended in 2009. I haven't sold on Amazon in terms of resell items. I've sold books. So if I'm teaching you resell stuff and I don't sell in the resale channel, how am I training my competition? Now to the elephant in the room. If you're not out there selling, what the hell do you know, Glendon? Which is a valid question. I've noticed over YouTube, there's a handful of people who are moving in that right direction. And let me give you, this is a long answer, so brace yourself. When you work as hard as I was working, five, seven days a week, 10, 12 hour days, with a great deal of analysis on why we were doing stuff. Why did this work? Why did this fail? Just doing that, and my partner was an accountant, we came up with some very robust business methodology that works to this day. Am I gonna teach you how to go out and find something for a dollar and sell it for a hundred? No, two reasons. The market's more crowded, getting more crowded by the day. Will I, what will I teach you? How to strategize, because I have watched people here on YouTube who have businesses who claim to be making, you know, 1500, maybe 15,000 a month and couldn't get to the $20,000 mark. And I can look at their videos and their business and see exactly where they're fucking up because I've been there. Now, the thing is, what I am putting together is for people who want to get past the side money, who want to make a livable income. Look for people who want to get to that point, 30, 40, 50, 60. I am not looking for someone that wants to flip something. It's a different customer that I'm courting. So what makes me good enough for you to reach in your pocket and pull out your credit card, your debit card, or your wallet is I have 15 years of experience in this. And the fact that I was able to train myself to do this. To be here on YouTube because there are many, many resale guys on YouTube. I am still number one and I don't even talk about resale anymore because of my prior work. That's how people find me. There's three videos that most of my subscribers find me and they all have to do a resale. So I'm adjusting the message, but essentially I can help you get to a bigger level once you reach that ceiling. 
because I know why you're reaching that ceiling and I can even tell you why you're reaching the ceiling, give you the magic jelly beans and it's one word, infrastructure. There's three people that many of you know here on YouTube and I watched them get to that point and two made the right decision and continued to grow and one is still struggling and can't figure it out. Which brings me to the next point. You are never going to figure it out yourself because if you had that kind of ability, you would have figured it out already. I started becoming really, really successful when I reached outside of myself and realized that I didn't have all the answers. I wasn't the smartest guy in the room. And I realized that I was functionally ignorant. Not ignorant, ignorant. Functionally ignorant, which means I could work, I could make money, I can do things, but kept hitting that ceiling, kept hitting that ceiling. And the reason I kept hitting that ceiling was I had an information gap. The information that I had and the information that I needed were not put together and until I filled that space with the right information and connected the gap I wasn't going anywhere and that's where many of you are right now you're trying you're working hard you're out there every Saturday you, you're doing stuff you're scouring Craigslist and on that I'm gonna do some book recommendations at the end of this video about my books which ones you should buy which ones you should not buy so you're working hard you're doing what you think is the right thing and it's just not working out. You have an information gap. The information that you presently contain in your mind is not good enough to get you to that next level. And someone that put a little snarky comment, stop using next level. I will use whatever fucking phrase or word I want to use. Next level for me is always a vertical. May not be in your world, but it is in mine. So. For that next level person, for the person that really wants to increase doing what they're doing, I created the Hustler Mindset Project. As Ed Evans said in his video, the first year was beta. I told you, I'm putting this thing together. It's gonna go this way, it may not go this way. So there was a lot of reiterations. Now, it's different. So with that, the new Hustler Mindset, the one that I really like, we're gonna spend a month at a time on major concepts with 20% of the information about current events and stuff because starting December 15th, we're gonna go into the resale matrix. This is something I put together because there's something I'm very, very proud of. This is my fifth year doing this. I have 80 plus people who use my courses, bought my books, took my consultations, who have hit the six-figure sales mark. Let's be real clear about that. Six figures and gross sales. I have 80 plus people who've done that. I'm extremely proud of that. What that lets me know that it works for certain people. I'm not for everyone. This information is not for everyone. People are looking for one size fits all information and that is a fallacy. So that made me sharpen my message and pretty much get rid of some people and push some people out because I am looking at something bigger than resale. The information that I can give you can make you very successful in resale. But you will have to work, which is another issue. I noticed there in the resale hustling community, there are the usual suspects. And there are people who belong to several groups. And I watch people because I have a really good memory. And I just see that some people keep asking the same questions in different places. And they've been doing this going on two years. Then I see someone brand new to the group who's functionally ignorant realize that they must become a sponge and soak up all this information and they must do more than they ask and next thing you know hey I just had my first ten thousand dollar month on Amazon FBA after a year and I sit there and I go <laughs> the information's right here but the work ethics not people are looking for magic jelly beans so understand that if you want to be successful with my information, you're going to have to work. You're going to have to look at life a little differently. Now, with my story, on the uh, going back to the uh, training the competition, I am really successful here on YouTube. I've written quite a few books, I've done some podcasting, and I put together in my opinion, very valuable, loyal, and great people who are following. I look around, I don't see too many other people with those same 
attributes. So, in my opinion, my only competition is me. I must kick my own ass to get better. That's how I look at it because I have a very large creative nature. And a lot of you have no clue to the depths of that. That's why the other books you've never heard about. And, you know, speaking of books, why are all of my books and products on Amazon? Business lesson for you. Amazon is a wonderful company. Amazon is a highly recommended company by me. I even will go so far to say ditch eBay and go on Amazon. Hold up. I did during Chris Green's spreecast about a month ago. I said that and people were like, no, 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 no. <clears throat> that's the recommendation. But if you're selling books, and this is for anyone that's watching and wants to write a book, if you're selling fiction, uh, police procedurals, murder mystery romance, the price points are fine for that. But if you're writing how-to books or giving instructional manuals, Amazon will bitch slap you on the pricing if you go outside of certain parameters. And those parameters are created because Amazon wants a certain price point for their customers, which I totally get, which I totally understand. And my position is if I don't agree with that, I don't have to participate in that sandbox. And that's what I, I don't participate. That's why I sell my stuff from my platforms, from my links where I make more money because this is the thing. If you write a book, you do anything, you will have to do an incredible amount of marketing through either organic ground, you know, bootstrapping, or you will have to pay for it. Either way, there's going to be a cost to you that's not going to carry on in other platforms. Now, with that said, if you get a great book in the Amazon system and you get the sales and you push it just right and it rises up through the system, Amazon will start selling your book for you. So, like I said, love Amazon. It's a great company. Highly recommend it. But it's not a one size fits all. It doesn't fit with my business plan. And I will tell you, when I took that position and moved a lot of my stuff off Amazon, my income tripled. So that is clearly a step in the right direction. And let's speak about my income. I was on Google the other day because, you know, I Google myself and there's this thing, Glennon Cameron's net worth. And I start cracking up. <laughs> I was like really shocked to see that. I will say this from the standpoint that I have a family from the standpoint that I'm not crazy, I will never tell you because it's none of your damn business. But I will say this. I've been on YouTube since 2009. This is the only thing that I do. Do I look like I'm struggling? Use that as your guide point. <laughs> <laughs> and if I am able to take a new technology for me, YouTube, uh, blogging, podcasting, and actually turn that into revenue for myself because the greatest love of all is what? Self-love. And if I can do it for myself, I can help you do it. But if I can't do it for myself, if I was struggling, if I was riding around in a ratty ass vehicle, living in a roach infested apartment, you should turn the channel off because I would be full of shit because that's the thing. Evidence, I mean, success leaves clues. It, it definitely leaves clues. And you really have to understand that for you to be successful, you take some of my information and you mash it up into that thing called your life. Because that's one of the things that I discovered since I started really putting more of an emphasis on consulting. I've talked to in the last... Because I have this uh, program, and it's a beta program. It's called Disruptive Life Coaching. There's four people in there, and there will be no more because they're now the guinea pigs. <laughs> I'll tell you exactly what I want to do with that. Uh, currently, they pay 99 bucks a month. They got a deal. But when I'm done, that coaching program is going to be about 2500 bucks. I put it out there. This is how I do. When I put something out, I put it out really, really cheap. Then when I get whatever I need in terms of people, because I need your help to do this stuff, I'm not that stupid to go, oh, no, I don't need anyone. No, I need your help. I make it a deal for people who believe. And there are many people who don't, which is well and good. 
So your best deal is to get into my stuff early. As soon as I put something out, that's the best time to get in because it gets more expensive. If you just do the research, it's rare that I go you know, way back. I'll do a special or something like that. And that's part of testing. And I did a little testing and now that testing's over. So if you see something, get in, which brings me to what's the best way to get my information, my products, my service, things to help you become successful. Hustling University. I will sell stuff as standalone products, but they will be outrageously expensive. Just letting you know, because I have learned that when people pay a lot of money for their products, their services, they show up. They show up. I could put everything that I have here on YouTube for free. And the success rate of people, my students, my, my, my peeps, the folks in the G-verse, the level would go down. It would go down. I have proof from my business, someone else's business may be totally different, but I have proof in my business that that's the case. The success rate would go down because there's two groups of people. There are people like, I want it free. And there's other people like, oh shit, if it's free, it ain't worth shit. And, you know, I want the people who are like, if it's free, it ain't worth shit. And the there's a group of people like that. And you know where they are? They're on Amazon. This is something that many folks who've sold on Amazon and eBay already know. You can have the same product on eBay for $30, and then you take that product and put it on Amazon for $60, and there will be people on Amazon that will buy for $60, even though they have the ability to do a search and find it for $30 on eBay, because Amazon has a higher trust level. So everything's not always about price. Trust me on that. So that's the best way to get my information i have a links i have you know and i'll start putting links of stuff on the videos for standalone products for books but that's the best way now as i was saying i made some changes uh since the hustler mindset project is now 99 bucks a month and understand most people are not going to pay that totally get it but going back to my roots of sparta 300 if i get a handful of people that I can help become really successful, I am really happy with that. This is not a plan for everybody. This is not the Walmart plan. This is more like the Ferrari plan, or I should say the Porsche plan, because I'm moving up to Ferrari level. And it's only going to be for a certain group of people. I'm not talking to everybody. I'll put out great messages, and only some people are going to hear it, because what I've learned is if a person is not ready for a certain message, I don't care how good the information is. I don't care if you coat it in sugar and spoon feed it to them. They will not accept that message. They won't. They're just not ready. They're not in a position. It's not a good thing or a bad thing or a stupid thing. It's just due to life, people are in certain places because they're in certain places. So what I'm saying today that someone may hear today may not resonate with that person until next year or the year after or the year after. Which brings me to another point. If you're doing YouTube and you're putting up videos, stop taking your videos down. I see this all of the time. People put up videos and they like get all weird and they get that constricted mindset and they take their videos down. The longer your videos are up and they're getting good views, YouTube will push them up in the system. So you could do a video two, you know, three years ago that could still be making you money today. So stop taking your videos down thinking that you're doing something slick. You're actually hurting yourself because, believe it or not, 90% of the videos on YouTube don't get 1,000 views. So if you're getting 500 views, 700 views, 1,000 views, you're in, the top, you're, you're in that top 20%. You get to 1,000 views, you're in the top 10%. It ain't that you don't need millions of views to become highly effective because when you get to that certain that 10 percent, people are always sending you things about how to join their networks. You get opportunities. People are always emailing you. I'm telling you, this is going to get better. So with that, let's see. One more point. What am I? 
I should have did this first, but I'm kind of all over the place. But I am a now an internet marketer. I used to be a resale hound. I am now an internet marketer, which means I work from home. I don't deal with traffic and I sell information and services. That's what I do. So if you are not an information marketer, you're not my competition. And if you're not a information marketer that touches on a few things, business, money, because I am the only one that I know of talking about here on YouTube with manage your money or your money will manage you. I've said that for years because as a business person, you have the ability to make a lot of money really quick. And if you take your piss poor financial habits to that heap of money, you're going to have the same life as you did when you were making no money. And I'm wrong. It'll be worse because you'll get bigger debts uh, and they'll have more impact on the money that you do have coming in. So I'm the only one that's talking about that. So once again, if you're not an internet marketer, my whole position is I help people become successful. That's what I do. That's the only thing that I do. Everything is geared for that. So if you are not your whole purpose, your, the reason that you wake up, the reason that you do what you do is not, if it's not to help people become successful, you are not my competition. And we're going back to another comment. You know, a true hustler will never buy from another hustler. I'm going to tell you a story. And this is about two people that most of you know about. A true hustler will never pay another hustler. You heard of Ted Turner, right? And you heard of Michael Milken. If you hadn't heard of Michael Milken, you know, I'll give it to you short. Michael Milken created the junk bond market, which is one of the reasons that many corporations in the 70s and 80s were able to go to to become companies. Michael Milken went to jail for, uh, the, you know, screwing up inside, not an insider trader, but a lot of bad things happen. When he got out of jail, Ted Turner, which if you know his history, everybody knows, Ted's a hustler. Ted paid Michael Milken $55 million. Look it up. And he also said if it wasn't for Michael Milken, TBS would never exist. Now understand this. Let's look at the let's connect the dots, look at the context. Michael Milken went to jail. And when he got out, Ted Turner went 55 million. Now, what really happened was that Ted owed Michael Milken 55 million. And since Michael Milken knew he was going to jail, he knew the feds were gonna attach that money. He said, yo, Ted, hold on to that money till I get out. Hustlers, okay? See, now that, that's a story many of you didn't know because you don't study business. You are always looking here instead of looking here. You're looking down at what you did and people on your level versus looking up to see what's going on up there. Google it, look it up. That's hustling. So this whole notion that hustlers don't pay money, uh, how many of you have 55 million for yourself. Not let alone to pay someone else. How many, shit, let's, how many of you have 10 G's? 5,000, shit, 2,000 that you can reach into your pocket or go to your bank, pull out and pay someone like right now. How many? Not too many, <laughs> not too many. So that whole notion that hustlers don't pay hustlers, I'm sorry, from what I've studied, they do. So with that, I think that covers everything. Ah, once again, I'm glad I wrote some of this stuff down. Why are there three different levels to the Hustler Mindset Project? There's Hustler University, which is the basic level, 99 bucks a month. The Advanced Hustler Conservative Mindset Training, you can't get into because I'm building that again. Only folks who are in the system have access. I don't know what price point that would be. And then there's Disruptive Life Coaching, which I told you about. There's only four people in there and they are the guinea pigs, oink, oink. So when I move forward, when this thing happens, when I make it sexy and I make it really clean and lean and the process becomes better, I will open up these platforms, but they will be more expensive. That's just how it is. So your only way to actually even get to that stuff is through Hustle University because I'm sharpening my message and I wanna help people become successful and understand how people are. 
There are folks who don't think that their success is that important, so they're not going to work hard, so they don't want anything to do with me. Which is cool. It's your life. Live it any way you want to. So, ah, other stuff. There's a new thing that I'm doing. Uh, there's actually two webinars. There's one that drops today. I'll have all these links below because I love this new commenting system that so many people hate it because you can do so much and the benefit that I have seen already is amazing. Designing your life webinar, which is free. Manage your money or your money will manage you webinar, which is free. However, the recorded version will go into Hustling University. If you're not in Hustle University, you won't get the recorded version. And I'm going to do a workshop on each webinar. And there will be many more of these webinars. So essentially, the way that the Hustle Mindset Project is working, one big block of focused information, which December 15th, is resale. And I'll put in the comments, because I love this, all the other stuff that's coming that you know, because there's a six month calendar out of the things that I'm going to do for the next six months. So understand there will be 20% will be like the webinars, information that goes on side, Hustling University Facebook group and other stuff. And then there would be the webinars. And there's a long list of webinars that I want to do and it just didn't really make sense. So now I've got a sense of how to do this appropriately where everyone benefits and I'm not killing myself because Believe it or not, I got rid of a lot of people and my email box is finally manageable. Because once again, I have this principle. I can't help everybody. I can't save everybody. But if I can help a few become really successful, that's a win. It's a win. Versus more, bigger, better. I am not with that program. I don't need a million customers. I don't even need hundreds of thousands. Sure, it would be nice, but I'm not even really focusing on that. Because if you do the math with certain price points, I can become a millionaire of a thousand to fifteen hundred people. Yeah, off of that, thousand to fifteen hundred people. Doing the math, doing the right products, making sure that those people are served, make sure that they get benefit. So I don't need the world. And you know, once again, do the math again. If I get one hundred and fifty people per year new into the system and I do that for 10 years that's seven figures from home no employees or maybe some virtual assistants do you understand why I'm doing what I'm doing because I still don't make as much money as I used to in the storage auction business but at some point in that evolutionary chain, because see, I'm, I have long tail sales theory thinking, I'll get there because I'm in no hurry, I'm in no rush, I'm enjoying the process. So that's why there are different levels, that's what's going on, that's what I do. Now let's talk about books. Recommendation. Don't buy this book uh, on Amazon. I'm not even really selling it unless it's part of a, another package that adds value to you. And the reason is, Craigslist has made so many changes that maybe 50% 50, 50 of this book is still relevant. The photo pimp doesn't work. You can't put photos up in Craigslist anymore. There's a lot of changes that they made that uh, you just can't do. When I bought, wrote the eBay book, I immediately took it down. eBay made changes. The book's not effective. Now see, this is something that some people know and other folks don't know. If I was just out to get in your pocket I wouldn't tell you don't buy this book because it's not going to work for you the way it used to. I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't have taken down the eBay. I've had people who've been trying to get that eBay book for four years. Like, oh, I don't care. Just no, no, because it's got some crazy stuff in there that'll get you in trouble. Now, this book, you can get it on Amazon. This is not a business book. This is a this is stories stuff. I got this is not a business book. Some dumbass said in a webinar, I got that book and I learned. This is a, this is about stories. This is a story. This isn't a business book. So, yeah, buy that if you want to. It's entertaining. Um, this book, oddly enough, is still relevant. I'm going to say the process works. And this is more for a part-timer now. This used to be for a full-timer. It's more for a part-timer who maybe wants to go full-time. About 70% of this book is still relevant. 
I've got a garage sale book that's still a buy. Information still crispy. It's still very crispy. It works real well. And then there's these other packages that I have. Uh, typically, they've been put together for resellers. But once again, I'll put links and stuff under this video. This video will have a bunch of links and stuff. And you can see what's available. But the best way to get into my world to get the knowledge that will help you become more successful is to join Hustle University. And what I will do is everyone that gets in before Friday, I will bring it back down to uh, $79. Because this is the thing, and even if you only stay for one month, you would get the resale matrix. I mean, you gotta think about this. Because I understand how people think. And that's the reason I'll have the calendar, and I'll have, a, I'll have all the links, below the video. Now, this stuff's gonna be fun because I'm doing it totally differently, totally differently. You will have a good time and you will learn a lot and it will help you become successful if you apply effort. I'm the guy that told you that storage auctions were hard. Everyone else was saying, it's easy. It's cover girl easy, it's so e That shit wasn't easy and I never lied to you about that. Also told you, I'm here to make money. Didn't lie about that. So who are you going to listen to? People who told you that they want to be your friend and folks who went up me and one side of me for charge for information who now are in turn charging information. Kind of funny when you say it. I think there's a word for that. I think there's hypocrite. Yeah, that's the word. It's pretty interesting. And I also told you that that was exactly going to happen about seven, eight months ago. I told you that was going to happen. I told you that. And for those who've been here long enough, just chime in in the comments because I said that and it happened. Because I understand human nature to a degree. People do not invest time, energy, effort, or money in things that they don't believe in or things that aren't bothering them. Bothering them. How the fuck did he do all that shit? I want to be like Glendon, but I hate his ass. So I'm gonna talk bad about him and I'm gonna say all this other stuff and I'm just gonna cry and whine and bitch and fuck it, I'm just gonna copy him. Shit still ain't working. <laughs> so that's the deal. <laughs> that's what's going on and that's the future of the Hustler Mindset Project. Once again, it's not for everyone. It's a different way of thinking. It's a different way of being successful because I am giving you the stuff that I use to be successful, which is looking, reading periodicals, reading newspapers, reading blogs, staying atop of the political atmosphere, but not to go Republican, Democrat to say, hmm, since they're doing this, since they create this law, that's going to create some movement over here. Because every time there's a law like this healthcare thing, just, just to break it down, everyone's talking about you know, the insurance companies and uh, the Affordable Health Care Act. Who's still running the show? The insurance companies. It's the same usual suspects. If you remember years and years ago, due to deregulation, when they broke up AT&T and the bells, the baby bells, I was like, this is ridiculous because it's the same people who's running the companies. And then after policy change, guess what? AT&T got back together again. <laughs> Look it up. I mean, it's just like it broke them up. Same people were running it. They got their lobbyists and got back. It nothing really ever changed. Nothing. And that's kind of what I'm looking with healthcare. Uh, there is change. More people have access, but the same people are running the show. Which means, you know, to a degree, you're going to get similar results. Just my opinion. Just my opinion. All right. That's it. That's what's going on. Like I said, I'll put all these links below. I'll make some specials. I'll make some deals. And once again, for those who take part of the resale matrix who gets into Hustle University, before Friday, I will leave it at $79.95. After Friday, I am going to turn up the membership to Hustle University to $250. Then when I go into the next module, I'll break it down. I'm just letting you know what I'm going to do. I may not do 250. I may do 150. I'm just letting you know because I know how people are. People will wait to the last minute or they'll send me an email. Hey, Glendon, I just got this email on this discount that you put out eight weeks ago. Could you give it to me today? 
Nope. Fresh out of those magic jelly beans, baby. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. And as always, I will see you on the good side.